Right, this is second grade module seven, lesson 18. And in this lesson, students are gonna be taking an object and they're gonna measure it twice, once using centimeters, the other time using inches. And then they're gonna compare the two measurements, even though uh, it's the same object, they're gonna, of course, get two different numbers. And we're gonna talk about why. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an object. And in this case, oh, let's just use this uh, sample this cereal box right and and uh, let's let's say we want to measure the width of that cereal box so what we can do is we've got a ruler here and this ruler happens to have centimeters and inches on it and if we wanted to we could measure the length of that cereal box uh, with with uh, centimeters and then of course we can zoom in a little bit and we can see hey look at that it is right here. It's about 15 and a half, because here's 15, here's 16, so it looks like it's about 15 and a half. So if we wanted to, we could call that 15 and a half. You know, uh, second graders can handle, they can handle halves, right? So let's, let's say they can um, handle the halves. So we're gonna call that 15 and a half. We're going to call it 15 and a half. Where am I going to write that? Oh, let's do it right here. 15 and a half centimeters. All right, good enough. But now we're going to take that same cereal box, but this time we're going to measure it with inches. So this time I'm going to go here and I'm going to start on this side as my zero. And I'm going to go, 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 go. And I could see, ooh, now. It's really close to six inches, so four, five, six. And so we could say, well, that this cereal box is about six inches. All right, so we have the same object, but with two different measurements. Now, by the way, uh, you'll notice I used the ruler upside down. If I wanted to, I could keep everything facing straight up and down by doing it this way. And now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters right there. So we really have a choice when we're using our, our um, rulers in terms of how we're gonna measure with the centimeters and the inches, whether you rotate the ruler or not, it's all, it's all good. Now, of course, what's up? Why is this number so much different than this number. And we want students to understand that, well, that's because centimeters are way smaller than inches. And inches are big, centimeters are small. That means to go from one side of the box to the other, you need a lot of centimeters because they're really small. And you don't need as many inches because they're really big. All right, And that's the idea that this lesson is trying to get across to our students. So here it says measure the line in inches and centimeters, round the measurements to the nearest inch or centimeters. Now, parents and teachers, uh, my answer might be different from yours because uh, I did not import these to scale. I'm not worried about that. I just want to kind of get you uh, understanding the basic concepts as the teacher and as the parents of these kids. Uh, so we've got a ruler. And uh, let's measure in centimeters first because they're already facing up and it's really nice and easy. And I can see, whoa, I'm trying to make it all nice and neat and perfect. And I can go over here and I can zoom in and I can see that we are really close to 26 centimeters, all right? So we're gonna call that 26 centimeters. And we'll put that right here, 26 centimeters. Now we want to measure the same line. So we're not going to change the line at all. Um, but now we're going to measure it in inches. So I've got my little ruler. And I'm going to measure right there. And I can see way over here. Let's zoom in to see what that looks like. And I can see, well... It's a little bit larger than 10, but not much. So let's round that to 10 inches. So we can see that 26 centimeters is really close to about 10 inches. So whether we're using 
So we're measuring the same line, but if we're using centimeters, we get 26 centimeters, and if we're using inches, we get 10 inches, and we can talk about, well, why are the inches so small? The number. Why is the number of inches smaller than the number of centimeters? Well, that's because inches are really big, and centimeters are really small. So here, parents and teachers, students are being asked to measure five centimeters and five inches, and then we're gonna compare those lines, right? So let's start by measuring five centimeters. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit, and actually, this is actually kinda neat. This ruler makes it really easy for us to do five centimeters and five inches at the exact same time, and I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see pretty easily. And I'm gonna use blue for my five centimeters, and five centimeters is gonna start way over here at zero, and it's gonna go right here to five centimeters. So I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna go boom, right there. While five inches, and let me do that in red, is gonna start here, and it's gonna go, 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 boom, to about there. And so you can see, and it looks like I kind of went a little too long over there, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. So now I'm gonna zoom out so we get a better view of what's going on here, and there is our are our two lines. We've got this guy right here, that's five centimeters, and this guy here is five inches. So the question is, why is the five centimeters smaller than the five inches? Well, that's because five centimeters is like five baby steps, whereas five inches are five big steps. Parents and teachers, this is really kind of cool because this is actually leading our students because of this focus on units. Ultimately, this is really kind of neat because this is leading our students, I'm going to give you a sneak preview, uh, towards uh, fractions. If you want to think about it, you could say like five sixths versus five elevenths. And the idea is, well, which one is bigger? This is five sixths, this is five elevenths. Oh, well, five elevenths is going to be really small compared to five sixths because elevenths are like taking baby steps, five baby steps, whereas five sixths is like taking five big steps. And that's kind of the idea that this is, I don't know if they, the Eureka Math intends it that way, but it's really leading towards this thought about units and what are the size of the units so that we can compare things. It's not just looking at the numbers, we also have to be thinking about the units. So this looks like a lot, but it's not. It says, Takesha drew a line nine centimeters long, and Damani drew a line four inches long. Takesha says her line is longer because nine is greater than four. Is that true? Now, we have to pay attention to the labels, the units, the story of units. So this is nine centimeters, while this is four inches uh, so we can't just say that 9 centimeters must be longer than 4 inches because we really have to consider the units, the sizes. So what we're going to do is down here, we are going to draw those two um, lengths. And I'm going to zoom in to make it a little bit easier for us to see. So Takesha... She drew nine centimeters, so nine centimeters is going to go, 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 stop right there. And Damani, he did four inches, boom, 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 stop. And so, ooh, we can see that really it looks like four inches ends up being longer than the nine centimeters, not by much but just a little bit. And uh, so that's how we know that Takesha was wrong. Now, we wouldn't have known just off the, you know, initially looking at everything. We actually had to draw the lines in order to find out. So you couldn't compare these two easily simply because they had different units. One had inches, uh, centimeters, while the other had inches. And that wraps up 2nd grade, Module 7, Lesson 18, measuring objects twice, once using centimeters, and the other time using inches.